What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to turn on a two-factor authentication in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. And by turning on 2FA, you will be able to completely protect your account and get a free boogie down emote. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video right now. But before we do that, as always, I just want to quickly remind you guys that I am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the item shop so if you would like to have a chance to get a free gift from me it can be basically whatever you want from the item shop like any skin bundle back bling pickaxe wrap emotes whatever you want from the item shop including the chapter 5 season 1 battle pass so all you want to go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is basically subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video and comment down below your Epic Games username. That's all you wanna go ahead and basically do. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and comment down below your Epic Games username so I can add you and send you the gift if you end up winning. And also, if you would like to support the channel, please consider using code BUCKS inside the item shop. It's literally one of the shortest codes ever. B U X BUCKS, thank you very much. Hashtag ad. All right, so just like I said, guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to turn on 2FA in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 in order to go ahead and completely protect your account and get a free boogie down emote. So let me go to my emotes right here to show you guys what this boogie down emote actually looks like. Let's go over here just like this. This whole UI changed. It looks really weird, but I, I hope I can be able to find the boogie down emote from around here so let's go a little bit down from here and right around here we will be able to actually find that emote it's a pretty cool emote guys but i'm kind of having some trouble trying to find it in this new locker you guys let me know what do you think about this new locker it looks really interesting in my opinion okay so as you guys can see here's the boogie down emote it's a pretty cool emote i definitely like it and the fact that it is 100 percent free is amazing and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead and unlock this emote and also turn on to a fate so that you can actually protect your account and it allows you to do a bunch of things as well I think it allows you to like do voice chat or you know get gifted or stuff like that so it helps a lot so in today's video I'm going to show you how to turn on to a fate in Fortnite chapter 5 season 1 okay so first up guys we got to go and do a few settings inside of the game so let's go and do those right now so first up, open up this little menu from here and then go all the way down to this icon and you're going to be seeing the settings pop up right there on the top. So click on the settings from here just like this and once you click on the settings, it's going to take you inside of the new settings page right here, which looks really different. It's kind of hard to get used to, but I think there's nothing we can do so we can just like get adapted to this as well. But let's go. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go to the top so as you guys can see we have like a bunch of tabs at the top so we're going to go to the one that is at the far right which is going to be the account and privacy settings right here so make your way to the account and privacy settings right over here just like this and as you guys can see we have like a bunch of different settings and sections right here we have like account clipping social privacy gameplay privacy and stuff like that so we got a bunch of new sections right here but now i'm going to show you the settings you guys got to do in order to go ahead and actually turn on two-factor authentication. Some of these settings are not really necessary, but they're told to do so to, to not risk anything. So let's go and do these settings right now. So first up, guys, we got to go to the social privacy section right over here. And then from here, we got to go to where it says can receive gifts. So normally, I don't know if there's any people that turn us off. Like, I, I think you shouldn't turn us off. There's no reason to turn us off because if you turn it off, Nobody can gift you anything and you lose gifts if somebody even tries to do that. So normally just turn this on, but also with the 2FA, some people say that if you do not turn this on, you might not be able to get the boogie down emote for free. So just not to risk anything, we come over here to can receive gifts and we turn it on just like this. So now we got to go a little bit down to gameplay privacy section right over here. So in this section, guys, I'm going to turn on public game stats. And basically, the reason I'm doing this is because we got to have our things public. Now, this is not necessary as well. We're not sure. We're just turning these on to not risk anything. So we got to put this like, we got to apply this one right here as well. Then we have a hide your display name during regular gameplay. We're going to turn this off using the same logic to not go and risk anything to get this free emote and also secure our account. So, so it's going to be like this on, off, 
and then can receive gifts got to be turned on as well to go ahead and make sure we actually get the boogie down emote for 100 free because we're getting a free emote why risk anything right so so these are pretty much the settings they're, they're really simple guys come over here to the social privacy section can receive gifts got to be turned on and then public game stats got to be turned on and hydra's playing i'm doing regular gameplay got to be turned on too so once you do this just like this all you have to do is click apply from the bottom right and then now you can leave and go back to the main lobby of fortnite so now we completed half of the steps there's only one more thing you got to do right now and i'm now going to show you how to do that so normally this part is like uh might be a little hard for some people to do but do not worry about it i'll tell you how to do it so no matter on which platform you are i'll tell you how to do it so if you're playing on console and if you have a browser on your console go to the, go to that browser if you're playing on pc simply go to any browser you know if you're playing on console and your console doesn't have a browser you can use your phone to do this so get on your phone open up a browser and simply just go onto a browser on whichever platform you are that's what you need to do and then type in epicgames.com so i'll meet you guys there go to epicgames.com okay so after you guys go ahead and load up inside the epicgames.com website just like this this is going to be what you're going to be seeing on your screen so we got lego fortnite fortnite festival rocket racing we got a bunch of games right here but these are not the things we're interested in so right now what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do in order to turn on your two-factor authentication in fortnite is really simple just look at the top right corner and you guys are going to be seeing this little guy icon right here so after you guys go ahead and locate that icon basically bring your cursor on it and then go down a little to where it says account so find this account button right here and then simply click on it okay so after you click on the account button from there it's going to take you to this page where you have actually the account settings but i just switched to the redeem code section because there are like a few you know private information there so because of that basically once you're inside of this page right here you guys are going to see like all these options located right here account settings email preferences payment management transactions epic rewards subscriptions password and security in-game currency parental controls like a bunch of different options right here so from these options guys all you have to do is click on password and security from here and then from the password and security all you have to do is simply scroll down a little to where it says two-factor authentication and as you guys can see we have the two-factor authentication part right over here we got three ways to do this we got two-factor authenticator app email for two-factor authentication and sms code for two-factor authentication so simply there's three different ways to do this and it really depends on your preference so if you want to do it through your phone you can do it with a two-factor authenticator app if you want to do it through your phone but with an sms you can do it with this one right here or if you want to do it through your email you can choose this one right here so basically these two sms and email are kind of easier to do so every time you log into the game two-factor authenticator app might be a little confusing but it really depends on your preference and once you decide on which one you want to do and also you can do multiple two but once you decide on which one you want to do all you have to do is simply click on the little setup button right next to it and then it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do step by step to go and basically do this and if you can't tell what you need to do exactly you can click on the how to video from here and it's going to take you to the official video of epic games telling you how to actually set up two-factor authentication right here and it's really simple to do so just follow along with their steps and you're going to be able to set your two-factor authentication and once you set it and once you log back into the game you're going to be getting the boogie down emote for 100 free for turning on two-factor authentication so that's basically how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication in fortnite chapter 5 season 1 generally nothing really changes in every season it's the same thing you got to do so yeah basically this is what you need to do so if you guys enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel with the post notifications turned on and also please consider dropping a like on this video as it really really helps the channel out i will see you guys later in different videos take care bye